Good morning. Good morning. Welcome as we gather for worship this morning, a beautiful day, and it is good to be together. Whether we're here in person or joining via the live stream, God the Holy Spirit indeed calls us together as God's people. If you're a guest or visitor with us this morning, a special warm welcome to you. We are grateful for the opportunity to join in worship. The communion table is open to all, and so I hope that you will feel welcome to join in that when we get there during worship. If you're at home, I hope you've had a chance to gather elements for communion. Here we'll distribute communion continuously in the aisle. Um, there's also individual packs as you came in if you prefer uh, to commune that way. But all are welcome. Everything you need for worship is in your bulletin or on your screen. For those here, the hymns are found in the red hymnal there in front of you. Next week, I am so excited to get to celebrate two of our graduates. Um, so I invite you to come back next week to bless them and recognize their accomplishments as we send them on their way into their next chapter. Uh, Dagny Rydell and uh, Claudia Cook are our graduates, and so we're gonna wrap them in our, our prayers and our blessings. So I invite you to be sure to come back next week for that. Please do look on your refrigerator sheet for just things going on, different ministry team meetings. Um, contact the ministry team chair if uh, you are wondering how you meet or what that team does. Um, lots of things going on. And if you flip it over, introducing to you monumental VBS, celebrating God's greatness. We are really looking forward to this week, June 27th to July 1st. Uh, registration is open, dinner at 5.30, that's open to anybody. If you just wanna come for dinner, hang out, see what's going on, um, you know, celebrate our young people, come on for dinner at 5.30, and then VBS program for pre-K through fifth grade will be at, uh, from six to eight. We are gonna be looking for volunteers, that registration link will go live uh, sometime this week, so look out for that. But participant registration is open. I challenge everybody to invite somebody to Vacation Bible School. It's all free. Uh, we're just excited to give this gift to our community. Um, and please invite somebody. Do you have, yes? You may talk to me, Leslie Doty, if you would like to volunteer. I can give you more ideas of what those volunteer positions are. And then when the um, volunteer goes live online, you can fill it out there. But if you have questions about volunteering, Totally talk to me. Great, thank you. And I'm just going to repeat that so everybody can hear online too. If you would like to volunteer, know what positions are open, uh, talk to Leslie Doty. When that registration goes live, each position will be listed out and what they do. Uh, you know, we need everything from station leaders to um, crew leaders that will take uh, young people around to each station. So, looking forward to that. And by all means, please, everybody, add this to your prayers. Pray for the young people that will come. Pray for our volunteers. Pray for our community that will be touched by Vacation Bible School. Right after church is Church Street Cleanup. It's a pretty short street and it stays very clean. Um, but if you would like, we're going to gather right after church to make sure that everything is clean as part of Keep Huddle Beautiful's efforts to uh, adopt the streets. Again, Leslie Doty will be leading that. Yes, or Daniel's coming, or um, a Doty. Find a Doty, and um, we're going to make sure Church Street is clean. Thank you so much to you all for providing a, a handbell prelude this morning. So as we pause and prepare our hearts and minds for worship and our uh, bell rings, please uh, remain seated. Um, and at, at the conclusion of that, um, we'll have our handbell prelude. Let us pause and prepare our hearts and minds for worship.
I invite you to stand as we give thanks for baptism. Alleluia, Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed, alleluia. In the waters of baptism, we have passed over from death to life, Jesus Christ, and the creation. For this saving mystery and for this water, let us bless God who was, who is, and who is to come. We thank you, God, for your river of life, flowing freely from your throne, through the earth, through the city, through every living thing. You rescued Noah and his family from the flood. You opened wide the sea for the Israelites. Now, now in these waters, you love us with mercy, and our sin is drowned forever. You opened the gates of righteousness for us, and we have seen the glory of the in Jesus Christ, you calm and trouble the waters. You nourish us and close us to safety. You call us forth and send us out. In lush and barren places, you are with us. You have become our salvation. Now breathe. Now breathe upon this water and awaken your church once more. To you, our beginning and our end, our shepherd and lamb, be honor, glory, praise, and thanksgiving now and forever. Amen. Amen. We sing together our gathering hymn, hymn 452.
the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray together our prayer of the day. O oh Lord God, you teach us that without love, our actions gain nothing. For into our hearts your most excellent gift of love, that it may love our neighbors as ourselves, you have given us your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him we have found the grace of salvation through faith in him. Amen. Let us pray together our prayer of the day. I invite you to be seated as we hear from Scripture. The first reading is from Acts 11. Now the apostles and the believers who were in Judea heard that the Gentiles had also accepted the word of God. So when Peter went up to Jerusalem, the circumcised believers criticized him, saying, why did you go to uncircumcised men and eat with them? 
Then Peter began to explain it to them step by step, saying, I was in the city of Joppa praying, and in a trance I saw a vision. There was something like a large sheet coming down from heaven, being lowered by its four corners, and it came close to me. As I looked at it closely, I saw four-footed animals, beasts of prey, reptiles, and birds of the air. I also heard a voice saying to me, Get up, Peter, kill and eat. But I replied, By no means, Lord, for nothing profane or unclean has ever entered my mouth. But a second time the voice answered from heaven, What God has made clean you must not call profane. This happened three times. Then everything was pulled up again to heaven. At that very moment, three men sent to me from Caesarea arrived at the house where we were. The Spirit told me to go with them and not to make a distinction between them and us. These six brothers also accepted me, and we entered the man's house. He told us how he had seen the angel standing in his house and saying, Send to Joppa and bring Simon, who is called Peter. He will give you a message by which you and your entire household will be saved. And as I began to speak, the Holy Spirit fell upon them, just as it had upon us at the beginning. And I remembered the word of the Lord, how he had said, to, how he had said John, baptize with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. If then God gave them the same gift that he gave us when we believed in the Lord Jesus Christ, who was I that I could hinder God? When they heard this, they were silenced, and they praised God, saying, Then God has given to the Gentiles the repentance that leads to life. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. We'll read Psalm 184 responsively. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him from the heights. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all you shining stars. Praise him, my heavens, and waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded, and they were created. He established them forever and ever. He raised their minds, which cannot be passed. Praise the Lord from the earth, you sea monsters in all deeps. Mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars. Wild animals and all cattle, creeping things and flying birds. Kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all rulers of the earth. The young men and women of God, all of them together. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His glory is above earth and heaven. The second reading is from the Revelations chapter 21. I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, See, the home of God is among mortals. He will dwell with them. They will be his peoples, and God himself will be with them. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more. For the first things have passed away. And the one who was seated on the throne said, See, I am making all things new. Also, he said, Write this, for these words are trustworthy and true. Then he said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give water as a gift from the spring of the water of life. Word of God, word of life. Good morning. I'd like to call our youth and children up to the front. Pastor Katie already knows I pulled her in for a game this morning. I know, Caden is ready to get her. You have to play. You do. You don't have a. She loves games. 
So you're lucky that kids showed up because earlier it was going to be uh, audience participation. And uh, some of them asked if they had to come up here and sit down. I said, no, 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 I'll let you sit in your seats. So, all right, so our game is, you may have heard this game, it's worse. You put a name on your back and the person that has the name on their back has to ask questions to us to try and guess who, what name is written on their back. Okay, so usually you can use like famous people or musicians, so we're gonna use famous people of the Bible. So who do we got, who do we have? Jesus, Jesus Noah, Noah, and Moses. Those are some, there's a lot of people in the Bible. <laughs> Those are some pretty good ones there, right? Isn't Mary one? Mary's one, there are a lot of people in the Bible. <laughs> so I chose the ones that would be good questions, though Katie might know more questions and answers than we do. So okay, stand up here. Hold on, we're gonna, Katie's gonna stand here and we're gonna tape one of these. Shh, don't tell her, don't tell her. Okay, that one, okay. No cheating. It'll be okay. Nobody can see, don't tell, okay. Everybody got it? Here you guys got it? Okay. Hold on, let me tape this on you. Use painter's tape so we don't like. I got a stamp on the No. <laughs> that would hurt. Whoops, sorry, Bradley. Thanks. Whoever I heard that's Mercedes what Bradley that gets you for sitting behind. Automatically you, said no. All right. You should know who this is just because we taped it right there. It's all, okay. all there. Okay. She's gonna ask us questions without, and we're gonna see if she can guess. Okay. Is this person Old Testament or New Testament? Both. <laughs> I got an old. I got an all of them from over here. I don't know. Um. Okay. I told you you gotta ask easier uh, questions. <laughs> Did this person have anything to do with animals? No. Uh, yeah. 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 How many questions do I get? Uh, how many questions should we give her? Five. Five. Okay. Bradley has spoken. Five. So okay. We got three. Three more. Did this person have anything to do with a rainbow? With a rainbow? Yeah. No. Okay. Not direct, no. Did this person part the Red Sea? No. Okay. <laughs> Did this person rise from the tomb on Easter? Oh, man. Yes. It's Jesus. It's Jesus. <laughs> no, just Pastor Katie. No tricking Pastor Katie, apparently. So. Jesus is our person for today. You know, it was a really hard question because it was all of these things, and you will know Jesus by all of his different things that he's done, right? How did she guess that it was Jesus? There was a pretty big one there at the end that kind of gave it away. But I mean, Moses, burning bush, could have been a question. She got close with the, the rainbow question. The animal one was a trick question because uh, that, I mean, you know, lots yeah. of things. But Jesus, we know it's Jesus, right? She knew, she got it right off the bat. So today's gospel is gonna talk about how, how do people know that we are Christians? Hmm. There's lots of different ways. So I'm gonna teach you a song which is gonna be like our prayer. Lots of you may know this song. It's, they'll know we are Christians by our love, okay? So it goes like this, and I'm gonna teach it to you and then you're gonna sing it with me. It goes. We are one in the Spirit, we are one in the Lord. We are one in the Spirit, we are one in the Lord. And we pray that all unity will one day be restored. And then it goes, and they'll know we are Christians by our love, by our love. Yes, they'll know we are Christians by our love. So I can already tell that your church family here knows it. So they're gonna help you. So everybody, this is gonna be our prayer for today before we go back to our seats, and then we're gonna hear our gospel. But if everyone will sing it with me, because we are one in the spirit, okay? You ready? We are one in the spirit, we are one in the Lord. We are one in the spirit, we are one in the Lord. And we pray that all unity will one day be restored. And they'll know we are Christians by our love, by our love. Yes, they'll know we are Christians by our love. Thank you.
friends. I hope you have a great rest of your week. I invite you to stand for the gospel as you are able. According to John chapter 13. When he had gone out, Jesus said, Now the Son of Man has been glorified, and God has been glorified in him. If God has been glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself and will glorify him at once. Little children, I am with you only a little longer. You will look for me, and as I said to the Jews, so now I say to you, where I am going, you cannot come. I give you a new commandment, that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you also should love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Christ. Please be seated. Leslie, thank you for giving me Jesus, because Jesus is always the answer, right? I should have known that off the bat. And like Leslie said, Jesus is our person. How perfect is that? Grace and peace to you in the name of God, our creator, Jesus, our redeemer, and the Holy Spirit, our sustainer. Amen. Okay, I, I'm going to say a word this morning. And I want you to pay attention how you immediately respond to that word, okay? So when I say it, pay attention to what your brain does, maybe what your body does, but pay attention to how you immediately respond to that word. Okay, the word is new, N-E-W, new. How do you immediately respond to the idea of something being new. Yeah, how do you respond? Nobody's ever used it, Nobody's ever used it before. It's brand new, right? Lightheartedness or hopeful. Okay, hopeful. Yes. Life. Life. Expensive. Expensive. <laughs> yes. If uh, online, if you're there and you want to put your response in the chat, feel free to do that. Other ideas? Baby. What? Baby. Baby. Yes. Anticipation. Anticipation. Intriguing. 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 You were a lot more generous than I was in my response to new. <laughs> yes. I said yay. Yay. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> huh? um, okay, so some years ago, it's been a couple years ago now, we had to get a new weed eater. This is the new one. I um, had come to like our old one. We had bought it when we bought our first house, and I was pretty proud of myself that I had figured out how with this uh, other weed eater to get nice straight edges on the grass. You know that deep edge next to the sidewalk that makes the HOA just be like, well done. <laughs> <clears throat> but weed eaters don't last forever. So we had to get this new one. It's inaugural time out of the box. I plugged it in, ready to go. I hated it. <laughs> it didn't work like the old one. And I will not admit how much time I spent trying to get this one to work like the old one did. I twisted it and I turned it and I walked this way and I walked that way, put the cord this side of me, put the cord that side of me. It didn't work like the old one did. At the peak of my frustration, I finally decided, well, I'll look at the instructions and see how this one is supposed to work. And so I did what the instructions said to do. And this new one, actually, 
was easier on my arms and neck and shoulders. It made that nice, clean line much easier than the old one did. And I, eventually, I got the yard done in a fraction of the time that the old one used to take me. Something new. As I said, you all were much more generous than I. The idea of something new is scary sometimes. The idea of something new can be frustrating. Something new means that a change has occurred. Right? Even if it's a good change, you get a new car. You still have to relearn all the buttons figure out how do I turn the wipers on on this car? How do I change the radio station? So even when it's something good, a change has occurred. And a change means that we have moved some, from something that was very familiar, very comfortable, to something that is not. And something new and a change also usually indicates that we've lost something. And when we lose things, we grieve that. So something new can indicate that we are moving into somewhat of a grief process. In our Acts reading, we hear of something new. The Gentiles were to be included? We should have a collective gasp. <gasps> right? Peter ate with the uncircumcised? No. No, you didn't do that, Peter. This something new landed Peter with some criticism. Yet the Spirit shows up to send Peter and companions out to preach and to teach, yes, even to the Gentiles. Preach and teach without distinction, we heard in our Acts reading. God breaks down these human-made barriers and sends them out. God breaks these barriers down and sends us out to follow where God is leading. And so, as we read, Peter and companions arrive at this conclusion. Who are we that we should hinder God? Who are we that we should hinder God? New is different. New is change. But God can be active in showing up in what is new. Who are we that we should hinder God? In our reading from Revelation, turn with me there, back uh, to your bulletin. In just six short verses, we hear the word new four times. New heaven, new earth, right? New Jerusalem. Everything will be made new. Again, you were much more generous than I. If, everybody, if somebody told me, everything's going to be made new. Uh, but it, what, about, what about this that's so comfortable? What about this that I love? And you're going to make that new? I don't want it new. I don't want it new. I liked it the way it was. That can be a scary prospect, unsettling. But then it's revealed to us what the promise of the new earth and the new heaven is, right? The new promise in Jesus Christ is that God's presence is here to dwell with us even in the midst of death and suffering. That's the promise of the resurrection. Nothing can take away the presence of God away from us, not even death. In Jesus Christ, in this new heaven, this new earth, the hungry, they're not left hungry. The thirsty, they're not left thirsty. In Christ, in the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning, the end, death no longer has any power. The power of love is stronger, and love has made a way. Right? That's this new commandment that we hear from John 13. Jesus says, just as I have loved you, you also should love one another. He says this in the midst of the Last Supper. <laughs> As you may recall, the last time we heard this John 13 text was on Maundy Thursday. In the midst of betrayal, in the midst of denial, Jesus turns to love. 
He turns to love and gives us this new commandment saying what Leslie talked about with our young people. Everyone will know you are my disciples if you have love for one another. Now we might think this loving one another is nothing new. Yet we still try old ways. We still try to make the new weed eater function like the old one did. We still try even Stephen's justice. We still try violence. We still try revenge. Yet there is a greater way, the way of love. And that way of love has been laid out for us in the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ centered in the promise of the resurrection, centered in the life of Jesus Christ, we have nothing to fear about this new commandment to love. We can give God thanks for the ways that God is breaking down barriers, and we can look forward to the new things that God is doing in our midst. These new things will always be guided by love, the love that we are commanded to have for one another, the love that God has for all the world and in through Christ, the love that God has for you. We can't miss that one. We talk about the love that God has for our community and our neighbor and our world, but please do not leave here today without hearing that this love, this love that God has is for you and you and you and you and you. God loves you. We give God praise and thanksgiving for this love, and we ask that God the Holy Spirit continue to guide us in living into and living out of this love, love that will always find a way, love that grounds us even amidst the new things that God might be doing in our lives and in the life of this community of faith. Amen. We sing together our hymn of the day, and I invite you to remain seated for that.
invite you to stand as you are able. Gathered together as the body of Christ, we profess our faith using the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, the God not made, the one being with the Father, through him all things are made, for us and for our salvation. We pray together. <laughs> Set free from captive to sin and death, we pray to the God of resurrection for the church, people in need, and all of creation. Loving God, lead us to the to follow your spirit rather than our own prejudices or desires. As the church cares for one another, open us to perceive your gifts and these we least expect. God, in your mercy, yeah. inspire us to praise you through the beauty and majesty of the natural world around us. Urge us toward more deliberate care of the world you have made. God, in your mercy, yeah. hear our prayer. Humble the rulers of the nations before your splendor. Direct them to the people who need their attention most and turn them from the temptation to hoard wealth or power. God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Hasten to dwell among those who are in pain or distress, especially those we name aloud are in our heart. As Christ enters our deepest suffering, Remain with those experiencing despair with great need. God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Place holy love at the center of our relationships and communities. By your love, heal us, convict us, and renew us. Bring an end to racism in our churches and communities. Let everyone know your goodness by the love we show one another. God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Give us a place in the diverse company of your beloved saints. Teach us the value of each person's identity and bless us with the shared identity as your children, kindred of Christ. God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In your mercy, O oh God, respond to those prayers and renew us by your life-giving spirit. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you always. Thank you. Let us share a sign of peace with one another. Thank you so much for your 
offering, your time, your talents, your treasure. There are boxes in the uh, entry as you came in, as well as the rear narthex um, to receive your offering. But thank you so much for everything you give to keep our mission and ministry going together. Let us pray together our offering prayer. Blessed are you, O God, ruler of heaven and earth. Day by day, you shower us with blessings. As you have raised us to new life in Christ, grant us your blessings and help us to I invite you to stand as you are able. Thank you. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, for the glorious resurrection of our Savior Jesus Christ, the true Paschal Lamb, who gave himself to take away our sin, who in dying has destroyed death, and in rising has brought us to eternal life. And so with Mary Magdalene and Peter and all the witnesses of the resurrection, with earth and sea and all their creatures, with angels and archangels, cherubim and seraphim, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, The risen Christ dwells with us here. All who are hungry, all who are thirsty, come. I invite you to be seated. For those communing in your place or at home, the body of Christ given for you and the blood of Christ shed for you.
I invite you to stand as you are able. May the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in God's grace. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Life-giving God, in the mystery of Christ's resurrection, you send light to conquer darkness, water to give new life, and the bread of life to nourish your people. Send us forth as witnesses to your son's resurrection, that we may show your glory to all the world, through Jesus Christ, our risen Savior. Amen. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine on you with grace and mercy. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. We sing our ascending song, hymn 763. Go in peace, Christ is with you. Thanks be to God, and we will. <laughs>